What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope you guys are uh, doing well out there. Uh, got a classic, classic tune for you and uh, a great beginner song, uh, but a great song if you're an advanced player, too. But it's good for beginners. Uh, also, I'm going to leave links down for my site. You can try it out for free. We got a new, uh, you know, new site look and everything, and I think you'll dig it. So you can try it out in the links down there and the social media stuff, too. I really appreciate it. I do. Uh, but let's zoom in and learn this one right now. Here we go. All right, so primarily you need three chords for the whole song. There's a couple little little tricks and things, but really it just revolves around three chords, um, three different sections where it takes those three chords and puts them in a, in a different order, which is a great songwriting tool at least to understand. The chords are A major. G major, and I like playing, for this song, I like playing G this way. And that's where your pinky's on the third fret of the high E, ring finger's on the third fret of the B, second fret, third fret. And then you also need a D chord. So those three chords, but what's cool is this G chord, when you move over to the D chord, you keep your pinky down from the G. You know, so there's little D tricks that are great for beginners. Uh, in fact, I only knew the D chord for about a year and I could do the tricks with it. And that's all I knew. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna dig deeper into that for you right now. So we're gonna start with the A chord. So I'm starting with two down strums on that A chord. Then we're going to do the same thing on G, so. And I'm just resting my hand there and you get a little bit of a percussion thing. Okay, then, like I said, we're going to keep those two down from the G chord and then get, you know, that middle finger on the second fret behind it on the high E, second fret on the G behind it, and you're going to go one strum on that, then pinky comes off, then middle finger comes off, then comes back down. So it looks like... The second time instead of it goes so ba, 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 A chord so it alternates and that's also what happens uh, with the verse so it's the intro and the verse A, A, G, G. Now, you saw I was doing a little bit of extra strumming there. That's the pulse of the song. It can be varied. You can do all kinds of things with it, but we've got down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down. So it's using that for the verse, and then finally, before it goes to the next section, it does a little thing. So you got the verse. A, D, A, G, then finally. So it does a build on A, and right before that, it's. Which is the same thing as D. But instead of hitting that note in the G chord, 
for the next section, the bass player is just playing that note. So we just avoid that. We can go. That's what I mean. We're it's basically three chords, but you kind of cheat on this one a little bit. We just want to go D, second fret on the A string. And then an A chord, which you play that way or that way. Right? Okay. So the next section, like I was saying before, it's the same three chords in a different order. This time now it's G, D, with that same strumming pattern, down, 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 up, down. It's the same as maybe Ario Speedwagon or something. Who was that? Uh, you can tell me in the comments. But it's the same thing here on this song, the final section. Another song, check it off the list. Uh, got the links below, uh, actually right down there. Thanks for hanging out. Hope to see you in another video real soon. I'm pretty sure you will. And uh, that's, that's it for now. Till next time.